Hello all you lovely people and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video I'm going to be talking about one of the questions that has been on my mind for quite some time now and uh, it has to do with PC gaming. Now I've been gaming for almost 15 to 20 years now but have always been a console gamer. Now a little over a year now I've had the opportunity to game on a PC as well and trust me when I say this that the experience gaming on a PC is completely different um, than that of gaming on a console. Now, while I was gaming on a PC, I always had this thing on my mind. Should I game with 1440p ultra or very high settings? Or should I game in 4K with low or probably medium settings? Now, the laptop that I usually game on is the Asus ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition from 2021, which has a Ryzen 9 processor and uh, the AMD RX 6800M, which by the way, is a 12 GB GDDR6 graphics card. So it is capable, in fact, very capable of running games on 1440p with very high or ultra settings. But I also wanted to try the same graphics card on games with 4K low or medium settings. Now, there are two camps of people, probably three, but the two camps would be one who prefer visual fidelity over FPS. The second one, they cannot sacrifice on the FPS at all. They won't compromise on it, but they can take a hit on the resolution. There's a third group as well who want both. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what I experienced while I was trying these settings on my Asus ROG Strix and um, it, it, it's quite a revelation. In fact, it was a revelation and it's going to be a revelation to you guys as well. Now, I'm not sure if uh, the data set that I'm working with just a couple of games in this video is going to be enough, but uh, I would recommend that you try it out in various games and also come back and let me know your experiences in the comment section below. Now, with that said, kindly stay tuned and um, watch the video till the end because hopefully just like I had some of these questions answered, maybe your questions are going to be answered after watching this video as well. So let's get started, folks. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I've decided to go along with Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That's the first game that I'm going to try this out on. It's a fairly new title. And it should give you an idea as to how this looks on 4K or in 1440p. Now, I'm going to show the settings to you so that you understand what kind of settings am I playing this on to begin with. Now, right at the start, I decided to go along with 3840 into 2160p. And in fact, I've kept all the settings in low. So this should give you an idea. Everything is in low. So let me just get here. And let me also show you this portion where it says AMD FSR 2.0 has been kept on performance mode. Now on this title, I've tried the quality and the balance mode as well. It does not work as well as the performance or the super performance mode. I think the performance mode is a good uh, settings to keep this game on while you're playing with low settings on 4K. So while I'm standing still, I don't know if you can see the FPS counter here. It's very small. I apologize. My AMD Shift Max is not working for some reason, so I've not been able to open up the FPS counter there. But I'm just going to tell you what kind of an FPS I'm getting here. Here, while I'm standing still, 4K and low settings, I'm getting 45 to 46 FPS. And that's with FSR 2.0 on performance. So let's crank this up. Now, this is already looking great, by the way. This title is a great example of how good a game can look with FSR 2.0. It's already looking fantastic, but let's dial it up a bit. So I'm going to head over to the visuals. And now I'm going to come over to the graphics quality. And I'm going to move over to medium settings. So let's turn everything to medium. Now. I don't see a massive difference in terms of the textures. Well, I do see some improvement in the rocks, um, some improvement, especially here. That's the real world experience that I'm sharing with you all. But as far as the FPS goes, the FPS has already taken a hit. 
So we've now moved over from that almost 48 FPS that we were getting over to 39 to 40 FPS. That's like a hit of around 8 FPS. Is it worth it? Not so, in my opinion. Now let's crank it up even further. Let's move over to high settings now and let's see what kind of an impact it has on the FPS. While standing still, by the way, we're not even moving right now. So this still stays at say about 37 FPS, so that's not bad. But now when you crank it up to high, yes, I will admit that I'm starting to see a lot more uh, texture changes here. So there's a lot more foliage here. And uh, these rocks, they look far better than on the low mode. But we are talking about a drop from say about 48, 47 FPS over to 37 FPS. So that's like 10 FPS that you've already lost moving over from low to high settings. Now, let's see if we can change this further so on this game we have the epic settings as well and that's the highest setting that you can have on this game oops sorry so now with the epic settings and let me just stand still right here where we were just a little bit more maybe uh, yeah so here I am getting 35 FPS but is this a major difference well, I think not. It's not a major, major difference. Yes, I do see changes in, uh, you could say, the, uh, the background here especially. But apart from that, the clothing texture, the character overall, looks almost the same as uh, the low settings. So let me show that to you again. Now, in terms of the FPS fall, yes, I moved over from 47, 48 FPS over to 34 FPS. So that's almost a fall of like 14 FPS. And that to a lot of people might be a very, very big drop. So we've moved from low to high settings. So that was interesting, right? Now let's try this on 1440p as well. And now for the 1440p. So we are now in 4K high settings and it's giving me 33 FPS. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution of this game. So let's move over to, let's say 1440p. Let's try that, accept. And uh, let's change this to full screen. Yes, that's right. Okay, that's good. This is good. All right, so now this is in 1440p. If I'm not wrong, let's confirm that again. Yep, it's 1440p as you can see here. And this is on Epic settings by the way for some reason my amd shift max it's uh, glitching on me it's it's popping on and off i apologize for that but here let me tell you the kind of fps that i'm getting so i'm getting about 34 to 35 fps here which is not much of a change moving over from epic settings on 4k to let's say epic settings on 1440p it's almost the same not a difference at all and is this image looking a bit softer heck yeah <laughs> it is looking softer especially here let me just uh, try to fix this i apologize for this but uh, hopefully that should fix it okay let's see if it gets fixed if it does not i apologize again really sorry so 33 fps on epic settings so now let me dial it down further so we're gonna go down to, uh, let's say, let's, let's pull it down. This is epic settings on 1440p. Let's change it to high settings. Now, is there a jump? Yes, I would say, just off a little. So we've moved over from 33 FPS to let's say 36, 35 FPS, not a big jump at that. But yeah, there's been a boost, like 4 to 5 FPS, probably. That's all that you get. But if I compare this to the 4K at low settings, I was actually getting a much higher frame rate on 4K low settings. So as you can see, it's, it's topping out at like 37, 35 FPS. And that's with 1440p. And that's on high settings. So let me again change this to let's say uh, 4k so let's go to 4k again a 
and bring this down to low here we go in low settings 4k and now let's take a look at the fps while we are standing still that's 43 46 fps so the answer is on 4k you're getting a much sharper image in terms of how crisp and sharp it looks but yeah it's lost all that details here the extra foliage the sharper image here as well it's lost all of that here a little bit of detail has gone but the image overall does not look that bad the image still looks really good and the good part is that i'm still maintaining over 40 fps this is on 4k low settings as opposed to 1440p high or epic settings where i was getting below 40 fps so that's like standing still so let's make this a little more interesting let's start moving and see how this impacts the fps yeah okay so now i'm still in 4k low and i'm just going to show that to you again 4k low yeah so i'm going to start working walking a little bit so let's move from here point a to let's say that stone pillar there 44 fps 42 fps 44 43 fps and it's uh, maintaining i would say 43 to 45 fps here not bad 44 45 and that's pretty all right 48 fps in fact as well so not bad at all now let's go back and try this in 1440p okay so now i'm in 1440p and i'm just going to show that to you as well let's go over to the visuals 1440p but i've kept it on epic settings now so you remember we were in 4k low settings now 1440p epic settings so with the epic settings even while i'm standing still i'm already experiencing a big drop 36 to 35 fps obviously i see a lot more uh, you could say details here a lot more foliage uh, but it's not as sharp or crisp as the 4k and as far as the frame rates go while i'm probably walking at the same pace it's a big drop because i was experiencing about 45 fps 47 fps and now i'm only at 36 fps so you can see there's a difference of around 8 to 10 fps so when it comes to this game jedi survivor i can without a doubt confirm that the 4k low settings is comparatively better in delivering those extra fps in this particular game so on a newer title with fsr 2.0 turned on and fsr 2.0 is turned on <laughs> 1440p yeah so that's working but i'm getting a lower fps compared to when i was playing this on 4k low settings and which one would i prefer over the two i would say i would go along with the 4k low settings it's a lot more stable and i've played most of my game in 4k low settings so i can definitely confirm that the game runs comparatively smoother and it's more consistent in delivering those 45 to 48 fps while you're playing this on 4k on low settings so this was quite a revelation for me when i was playing a newer title like this but what about older titles let's get into another game to check how this impacts one of my favorite rpgs of all time let's go there okay now i've moved over to assassin's creed odyssey which happens to be one of my favorite rpgs of all time and cassandra one of my favorite video game characters of all time period now i chose this game because this is not a very old title and at the same time not a very new title as well but it's you could say a good game to check out the colors and plus the performance as well so right now the first thing that i'm going to show you is the graphical options that i've chosen to start this with so now this is on native 4k and if i head over to graphics options all the settings are on medium by the way and it's only consuming 3188 you could say gb out of the 12 gb so it's not graphically intensive yet on 4k medium settings on my rx 6800m now as far as the fps goes while i'm standing still i'm getting an fps of say about i think this will reduce so 50 yeah so say about 50 fps yeah and this looks good to me i mean everything looks really sharp 4k means fantastic resolution and this looks brilliant guys i mean everything out here well this tree of course you know i mean the detail would uh, improve as you go closer but all these objects here they are sharp in 4k it looks brilliant 
on screen. And uh, let's take a quick walk here. Let's do a back and forth very quickly. How does that impact the FPS? Now, I've dropped to 38 FPS, 42 FPS in 4K, low settings, 45 FPS. Let's go back. Let's check this. 41, 46 FPS. So this is 4K with that low settings. Interesting, eh? Now, let's do the 1440p with ultra or let's say very high settings. So here you get an idea, the FPS hovers between say about the 40s to the 50. That's probably the max that I'm getting here. But the visual fidelity in 4K looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. So let me just quickly change the settings and come back because um, unfortunately on Odyssey, I do have to restart the game. <laughs> so, but before we do that, let's try to just change the resolution because I don't think this requires a restart. Oops, I went now to 1080p. That's not the intention. All right. So the graphics, I've still kept it on medium. And uh, let's come back here. And immediately, guys, I don't know how much of uh, this the camera would be able to pick up. Now, to my naked eyes, things have already started to look a lot more softer. You remember I was talking about these trees here in the background, this tree here, and even this, this structure. It's comparatively softer. It's not as sharp as it was, and it's obviously not going to be as sharp as it was because that was 4K and this is 1440p. It doesn't look that bad. I will admit it doesn't look that bad, but it's not as good as the 4K version. So even these structures here, they look far better far better on the 4k everything really shines on 4k which is kind of missing here even in terms of the fps i mean my fps counter at least the smart shift max on the amd machine it's not giving me a massive difference of let's say 10 fps or 15 fps the fps more or less is the same i mean if you remember the fps from the 4k low settings it was the same almost the same the 40s and the max I was able to get out of it was the 50, yeah? So even here, it's revolving around the same. So I kind of am curious to find out, is this gonna deteriorate if I increase the settings? Because even now I'm getting like 40 to 47, that's like tops. So let's take it up a notch. Let's change the graphic settings and let's head over to the maximum here. Ultra high, eh? This is gonna be interesting. I'll have to restart the game. I'll come back and show you how that has impacted because it's a massive jump. As you see here, the red, it's now utilizing more of my VRAM. So let's restart the game and come back. So we are back in the game, guys. This is your 1440p now with ultra high settings. Let me just confirm that. It's 1440p as you can see here with ultra high settings. So everything is like maxed out here and here, in 1440p ultra high settings, it's still showing me of, I mean, uh, an FPS of say about 56, 58. It's kind of increased while I'm standing still. That's surprising. Let's try to take that quick walk again. 45 FPS, 46 FPS. As far as I remember, this was giving me like 43, 45. So it hasn't changed at all. In fact, visually as well. Now, I don't know what the stats would say, but personally, I'm standing right in front of the television. To me, has this made a big difference moving over from medium 1440p to, let's say, ultra high 1440p, only in the distance, only here. This tree is no longer blurred out. So these objects are no longer blurred out, so I don't have to really like the draw distance in the sense like I don't have to walk up and that's when the textures pop on it. So now the memory is still showing these objects as sharp as they would be only when I'm closer to them. So that's the only difference. Apart from that, in terms of the visual fidelity, the 1440p is still comparatively softer to your 4K. But does it look good? It looks good. Is this a big difference to the medium settings on 1440p? No. It's not, it's not that big of a difference. 
And what if I compare this ultra high settings to 4K medium settings? Let's try that out as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to options again. And this is the last test that, we, we, that we're doing with this game. So let's head over to first changing the resolution. Because let's come back. We're still on ultra high, by the way. And let's take a look at this FPS counter here. The FPS has definitely dropped. It's dropped down to say about 36 while I'm standing still. So there is a difference. There definitely is a difference. And now also there is a difference. So this is ultra high with 4K. And uh, <laughs> while I'm standing still, this was showing 58, 59, now it's 41. So there is a significant drop of almost 15 to 20 FPS while I'm standing still. Now everything looks brilliant in terms of the sharpness, the crispness, but yeah, it's taken a hit in terms of the FPS. So 4K, ultra high, it's not that bad on the RX 6800. As you can see, it's 36, 37 FPS, 38 FPS. It's uh, really pulling the punches, guys, in terms of the performance, the RX 6800. But yes, there is, I would say, a drop of almost 10 to 12 consistent FPS while I'm playing this on 4K with ultra high settings. So finally, let's uh, talk about that and let's keep this object in mind again. It's as sharp as it can be. These objects are also really sharp on this 4K resolution. Now, the final test and uh, let's head over to options, 4K graphics, and now let's dial this down. Let's dial it down to medium, not even high. Let's say medium, just for the sake of this test. And I have to unfortunately restart the game. We are back in the game. Unfortunately, we are experiencing bad weather here. But um, I think even with this bad weather, it's only gonna add to the game instead of subtracting from the game in terms of the requirements. You know what I mean? Because uh, there is lightning and thunder here, and plus there's rain as well. So it's gonna be more intensive graphically in my personal opinion. But let's take a look at that FPS counter again. So for your reference, let's head over the options menu here. And let me show you that I'm now playing this in 3840 into 2160, which means native 4K. And as far as my graphical options go, I am playing this in medium graphic quality. And with this medium graphic quality, now in terms of the sharpness, I have to admit that it looks far better than 1440p because it's not as soft. And uh, in terms of the FPS, it's not that bad because this is giving me 48 FPS here. And now, you remember how I was talking about these objects here in the distance? Yeah, of course, this, this, this tree here is a little blurred out, which will only get sharper as I move closer to it. But all the other structures in the background, they look really good. Is there a big difference between 4K medium and 4K high, a little, but not so much. Not so much that you would want to play this on 4K very high or ultra settings and in the process lose say about 10 to at least 15 FPS. So this, even in low settings, 4K looks good to me. And let's take that quick walk. Let's walk back and forth here like we have done. As far as the FPS goes, I think the rain is only adding to it. <laughs> so it's become more intensive graphically, but the FPS has not really taken a big hit. It's still giving me say about 45, 43. And am I willing to compromise say about three to four FPS for that extra sharpness, the better visual fidelity? Yes, I would, but I wouldn't go so far as to keep this game on 4K ultra high settings because personally, there isn't much of a difference. The only thing that you would notice is different on ultra high settings is the textures in the background here. So that becomes a lot more, you could say, pronounced and sharper and they look obviously better. It's the ultra high setting, but this looks good to me. And the question is, should I play this on 1440p ultra high settings or 4k low i would take the higher visual fidelity any day and i probably would belong to the third camp because i want both 
visual fidelity as well as the FPS and by doing this that is 4k at low or medium I'm not sacrificing or compromising on the FPS as well because it's, it's almost equivalent to what I was getting on 1440p ultra high settings now I'm gonna give you a quick tip before I end this video as well while you're playing this particular game I'm not sure if it applies to other games as well but the this definitely applies to this game for sure without a doubt is when you're playing this game if you want those consistent FPS then I would say choose this option here which is the adaptive quality so let me show you an example you remember the FPS that we were getting here right 45 43 FPS so even if I turn this over to high and I move this over to 60 FPS so everything is on high and everything is on 4k by the way Unfortunately, you have to restart the game, but I'm going to show you how big of an impact it actually makes when you're gaming with this adaptive quality turned on. In terms of the VRAM, the utilization is far greater, so the stress on your graphic card is going to be comparatively more. But since this is a 12GB graphic card, it can take those punches. So let's restart the game and let me show you the FPS again. Okay, so we are back in the game. Sunny days. That's the forecast and uh, thankfully it's not raining but while i'm standing still this is 4k by the way so this is 4k let me confirm that by going over to the options menu again and uh, yep this is 4k i'm playing on almost high settings everything is almost high except for the fog and uh, i have turned that adaptive quality on and uh, i'm going to show you what kind of an impact does this make now while i'm standing still this is giving me about 48 FPS, which is not bad. This is 4K. Please note that. Let's take a quick walk back and forth again. This is 40 FPS, 41 FPS, 42 FPS. So it's not that bad. Now, this is probably the best settings that you could have. On Assassin's Creed Odyssey while you're playing this game the adaptive does make a difference that 42 and 45 but what I've noticed is that it's consistent and the smoothness in the FPS definitely is there I mean you can make out that difference and as far as the difference between 4k high and 4k ultra high goes the only areas where you will be able to notice that difference is in the far off objects not the closer objects so the closer, closer objects would probably look almost the same. And uh, even the texture, the clothing texture, the skin texture, the hair texture, almost looks as good as how it looks on ultra high settings. So should you move from high to ultra high? I don't think it's worth that extra drop. I'm going to be happy with 4K high settings if I turn that adaptive quality on with adaptive anti-aliasing as well. I think I'm good here. But this should give you an idea. Now, will I choose 1440p? That is the question that I asked right at the start of the video. Will I choose 1440p ultra high settings or 4K low to medium settings? Personally to me, because I tend to lean more over the resolution or the visual fidelity than the FPS. Uh, it has to be like 70% resolution and then 30% FPS for me. And with that ratio, I feel that I would probably lean over to the 4k low or 4k medium settings I'm not compromising on the visual fidelity at the same time I'm not taking a big hit in terms of the FPS probably three or four not that much and in fact this is on medium right if I turn it down to low probably I might gain a couple of FPS here or there so my personal opinion game on 4k low or 4k medium as much as you can and you should be good with that because there's not much of a difference in terms of the visual fidelity when you go from high to ultra high on 4k but you do lose a lot of fps if you go over to the ultra high you lose almost 10 to 12 fps in the process and that's not worth it in my personal opinion whether it's this game or whether it was jedi survivor uh, 4k low is the way to go and i would not play in 1440p with those ultra high or even very high settings but that's just me what about you guys let me know in the comment section as to what you think about it and um, I understand that on this video I've only tried this out with two games 
Um, the results may vary based on the games as well because the games also come along with its own kind of settings like FSR 1.0, FSR 2.0 and then games may give you an adaptive quality, some games may not. So it depends on those factors as well. It depends on your configuration as well. But with my configuration, the Ryzen 9 and the RX 6800M, which is a 12 GB graphics card, I think the sweet spot for me is that 4K low or 4K medium on these type of games. Now, whether it's Origins, I've played Origins as well. I've not been able to show that in the video or whether it's um, your Assassin's Creed older titles like Revelations. Um, again, my choice would be to play it in 4K with those low or medium settings. Now, let me know your experiences in the comment section as well. What do you think of this video? Now, it takes a lot of effort to make these kind of videos. Um, you could have very well understood that by the number of times I've had to restart this game, yeah? So, every time I restart or reboot the game, it takes uh, some minutes away. So, I would greatly appreciate it if you appreciate my effort, guys. And uh, if you do, if you like the content, I would like to thank you in advance because uh, you're going to be hitting that like and subscribe button and uh, yes please also hit that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos now with that said it's a wrap for this one and i'll see you lovely folks in my next video until that time i'll say take care stay safe and may god bless you all